Good evening and welcome to Commerce Presbyterian Church in our 2020 Christmas cantata. We're thrilled that you have answered God's call to gather this evening and be witness to this wonderful event. I would ask now that you sit back and embrace God's message as our choir musicians present the Christmas light under the direction of Ms. Sarah Fruca Gallo, Commerce Presbyterian Church's music director and instrumentalist. Would you now pray with me? Almighty God, we give you our thanks and praise for the opportunity for this day and be witness to this wonderful event tonight. Lord, in the season of Advent, it is our responsibility and joy to prepare ourselves to hear once more the message of the angels, to go even to Bethlehem and see the Son of God lying in a manger. Let us hear and heed in Holy Scripture the story of God's loving purpose from the time of our rebellion against Him until the glorious redemption brought to us by His holy child, Jesus. Let us look forward to the yearly remembrance of his birth with hymns and songs of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace and justice on the earth, for the unity and mission of the church for which he died. And because he loves us all, let us remember in his name the poor and helpless, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, as well as those who who do not know and love the Lord Jesus Christ. By the power of your Holy Spirit, we make our prayer with resurrection hope. In the name of Jesus, who taught us all to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening for Commerce Presbyterian Church's Advent Cantata. It's an unusual presentation for an unusual year, but we hope that it will still fill you with the warmth of the season. Our virtual cantata tonight features members from the Commerce Presbyterian Church Choir, alongside guest musicians from the University of Georgia's Hugh Hodson School of Music. It came together with many Zoom rehearsals, some excellent recording technology and editing help, and the choir members' willingness to try something completely different. For every choral piece you see, every choir member had to record themselves individually, and then those videos got st stitched together with pre-recorded accompaniments. It's not like hearing a choir sing in normal times, but when you see the familiar faces all put together, we hope that you can feel the love of the Commerce Presbyterian Church community through the screen. We wish you and yours a blessed Advent and a Merry Christmas.
The light of Christmas has been shining for over 2,000 years, illuminating our paths and guiding our way. The same light shone over Jesus' birth and led the wise men who journeyed to Bethlehem to visit the Christ child. And the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. And coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. Before Jesus' arrival in Bethlehem, Isaiah proclaimed his coming, calling God's people to prepare the way for the Lord. God tells the prophet to comfort his people in the midst of their affliction. Through the words of the prophets, God promised to send a new light, one that illuminates not the earth, but the very heart of humanity.
of God's promise came to pass in an unusual, unassuming way. Joseph and Mary had journeyed to a small town in Judea called Bethlehem. Joseph went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Thank you.
Christ's child. Play the music to the bank and merrily. He is born the divine Christ's child. Sing we of the Savior mine. Through long ages of the past. Oh, it's wonderful told his coming. Through long ages of the past. Now the time has come at last. He is born the divine Christ's child. Play the music to the bank and Joseph, Mary, and Jesus had, had visitors in the shepherds. Just as we will soon put the lights and glitter of the Christmas season behind us, the shepherds eventually left Bethlehem behind, returning to their fields and went back to work. No doubt they carried the memory of that blessed event with them for the rest of their lives. They had witnessed the fulfillment of God's promise. They saw with their own eyes the very light of Christmas. They carried it away from Bethlehem in their hearts, and according to scripture, they radiated that light to others. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what they had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. Good people, all this Christmas time, consider
On the night of Christ's birth, the angels sang, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward man. The promised light had arrived, and along with it the comfort of God's love and the joy of God's presence. They will come and shout for joy on the heights of Zion. They will rejoice in the bounty of the Lord. I will turn their mourning into gladness. I will give them comfort and joy instead of sorrow.
shepherds who celebrated that first Christmas, we join in celebrating the fulfillment of God's promise of light here on earth. The gift of a child that brings hope, love, comfort, joy, most of all, peace. Peace in our hearts and peace on earth. God of angels and sheep, God of the poor and meek, these days before Christmas, quiet us so we may hear where new life is struggling to be born. Slow our rush so we may hear the faint sound of angel wings and the words whispered in hope. Open our hearts to the wonder of the Emmanuel, God with us. Amen.
Pray with me. Eternal God, each Advent we sense new beginnings. As our journey to Bethlehem continues and we move into the future that you create for us, we do so grieving the loss of those things we leave behind. Replace our grief and despair with your hope. With grateful hearts, we ask for renewed assurance that our Messiah will come and indeed has come in Jesus, the Word made flesh. Make us the hands and feet of Jesus' abiding care for those who suffer and cannot do for themselves. May we serve the risen Christ as you reveal Jesus, the coming Savior of the world. Lord, hear our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Friends, may Almighty God bless us with his grace. Christ gives us the joys of everlasting life, and may the King of Angels bring us all into the fellowship of the citizens of God.